Hey guys, we're going to be installing the integrated tail light from TST Industries for the Z125 Pro. Uh, this is new on the market, but integrated tail light with LEDs. Uh, it comes with everything you need to install it. So let's go ahead and get to it. As you guys can see, I've already removed the two side pieces of plastic, the seat, and the little piece right here. The piece right here just has two little push clips that you remove, and that comes off. You remove the two bolts and you can slide off these side covers. This will just give us easier access to the wiring and stuff inside here. So we'll be able to put the new tail light in. Now we just got to remove these two screws here and we should be able to remove uh, the stock tail light. You're going to also want to disconnect the stock uh, harness right here. This is for your tail light. You want to disconnect that and free that cable up as well so you can remove the tail light that removed we should just be able to remove these two and then slide the tail light out you can remove your stock tail light just like that guys real easy and now we'll put in the TSC Industries one we're gonna want to use the stock rubber grommets from your stock uh, tail light assembly and place those into the new TST assembly there's a new tail light assembly installed guys with the uh, man in the box Fender Eliminator kit, I think it looks real good. Now all we gotta do is reconnect the stock connectors for the blinker and the tail light, and we're all good. Go ahead and reconnect your stock uh, tail light assembly. All set guys, now it'll turn on so you make sure everything works. Oh yeah, it looks good. Brake lights, check the blinkers. Looking good. There's actually a couple different program modes on this, guys, that you can switch between. Let's try some different ones. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, that's the one right there, guys. That's dope. Brake light. Blinkers. Awesome. It also includes resistors, guys. If you have a hyper blink or they don't blink, sometimes you got to put resistors in. But I just connected this all up stock. And it looks like it's working great, so I'm just going to leave it, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Z125 videos.